In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. <laughs> okay, Tomer. Whew. Looks like he's ready to roll. Huh? Why don't you go get Joel? Wookie. Hey, Joel! Primity Servo, I could have done that. Hi, one and all. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. Hey, fellas, what up? Oh, we only built the most sophisticated robotistical invention ever. Yeah, his name is Minsky. Yeah. Uh, now, just push that button on the top, Joel, to fire him up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I imagine it's just one of the really neat things he does, right? Oh, uh, what do you mean? I am the atomic powered robot. Hi. Please give my best wishes to everybody. Huh? Oh, I get it. You installed that annoying phrase to balance out the truly cool things he does, right? No, it just does the friendly voice. Yeah, we thought it kind of distills our own lives quite well. Wait, here it comes again. Yeah. Wait. I am the atomic powered robot. Fifteen seconds to commercial sign, and keep that thing out of my hair. Okay. I am the atomic powered robot. Please give my best wishes to everybody. Guys, do you think we could turn that off now? I'm kind of getting a headache. Nope, he's a new form of life, and he doesn't have an off switch. It's yours now, Joel, to steward, to nurture. I love doing good things for people. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah, we'll be right boy. back. He has your eyes. He has your head. Oh, he does. Nice yeah. poop around him. Oh, it's not really sweet. Oh, I think he said, how are you two getting along in here? Hey! Did you, did you Nothing. Do not, did you, oh, you were too. Oh, no. Joel. Um, Nancy and Sluggo are calling him. Stay away oh, from my foot. Oh, hi, Joel. That was really something. Yeah. Well, anyway, Dr. Forrester's been away since last Tuesday. I finally convinced him to go to one of his class reunions. He's got nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, so I've taken it upon myself to develop this week's invention exchange. Now, we've all heard of virtual reality, right? The gloves, the goggles, the wires. Well, I've come up with a similar concept that allows the average person to achieve that universal goal, becoming a stand-up comedian. It actually puts you inside the total comedy club environment with the laughter, the clinking glasses, the waitresses, the overpriced drinks. Uh, it's something I like to call virtual comedy. And I think it just might go a little something like this. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are a great crowd. Oh, thanks for coming out tonight. Well. What can I tell you about myself? Well, uh, I'm single. <laughs> Big surprise there, huh? <laughs> oh, thanks. You guys are great. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming out and supporting live comedy. Yeah. All this adulation can't be too oh, good right. for Frank. Let's see how he deals with a couple of oh, drunken hecklers. Oh, what else? Oh, well, I went to visit my mother. That's always a good thing to do. On the way there, I got pulled over by some you're cops. Not, God, I hate the... Huh? You're not funny. Well, you're... Uh, pretty ugly is what you are. Uh, huh? Huh? 
Well, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, to imply that. It's almost too easy. Your turn, Joel. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm gonna bring out your headliner right now. <laughs> well, sirs, we've all played miniature golf into the small hours, and it presents quite a few nagging questions. Like, is it really golf? No, it's not. And is it really miniature? No, not at all. It takes up a heck of a lot of space. Hence, this week's invention. Not only have we taken golf and turned it truly microscopic. Witness the microscope. But micro golf really is actual golf. Here's how it works. On each of these slides is an entire golf course, combining the technical know-how of biologists like Alexander Fleming with the impeccable course design acumen of Jack Nicklaus and Chai Chai Rodriguez. Huh? Hey, uh, each course is constructed of lush E. coli, parduman specimen, and the finest subcutaneous fascia. Okay, now I use this paramecium for a seven iron, right? Uh, right, Joel. Uh, but but I consider the Euglena niblick on this shot and uh, try to put some spin on it. All in right. keeping with the grandeur of micro golf, let us speak in hushed tones. All right, and up. Robinson teed off moments ago on the short par 5 11th, normally considered a birdie hole. He really let fly using a medium shafted mitochondria, his Golgi body is sitting a neat 0 0.07 micromillimeters from the flag. Robinson really needs a birdie because the wheels have been coming off. This shot is a bit trickier than it looks, what with the lymphatic plasma to the left and the green sloping towards the nucleoli. All right, I'm lying in the pernicious anemia culture. I'm going to use my pitching wedge to loft it. Oh, the wheels really are coming off. Ugh. There they go. What do you think, sirs? All in all, I'm glad I went, Frank. I think I came off rather well. I didn't mean anything by that. Actually, your wife is very lovely, sir. No, please sit down. It was all in good humor. You're a really nice audience. Bounce, Frank bounce, really bounce, does bounce. stink, you know. Please anyway, please Joel, please your please experiment please this please week please has a dual please purpose. Please oh, it'll hurt like always. But my I little trip to the alma mater reminded me that I had done some undergrad study in the field of supervillainry. I'll be conducting a little seminar after the film, taking some questions. In the meantime, please enjoy Secret Agent Super Dragon. Shh, all's teeing off. Point zero zero four. Oh, we got to go. Look at this. We're getting this hole. Hey, it looks kind of like a Mickey Spillane still life. Oh, oh it's called Secret Agent. Hey, hey. Dig the tunes. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just... Someone left a crayon burning. I hate that. By special arrangement, what, did they have to get her out of the fourth grade? Yeah. Um, so you have a call on chamber four. And of course, Technicolor as himself. You know, I'm going to sue this movie for secondhand smoke. Uh, suggested by? Uh, uh, why don't you guys write a screenplay, but give me credit for it, okay? <laughs> Boy, I bet the hero of this film is really cool. He smokes and carries a gun and makes a lot of phone calls. Uh. Brought to you by Firestone. Where the rubber meets the road. Oh, what? Oh, oh J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> Secret agent Mary Kay. Mm. Mm. Oh, man, she doesn't have any blushers. Forget it. <sighs> Is that I can never remember. Got too many. I have to get rid of a couple of these. And Oh, watch this. We're gonna pan up. It's gonna be John Cleese. All right. Okay. You know, eventually this is gonna get annoying. Eventually. Well. Oh no, it's a Hercules film. 
I hope that's not the secret agent dragon man there. Hey, who pulled William Holden out of the pool? <laughs> well, they did. Oh, you can tell by the lawn and furniture that he's a secret agent. No, she's going to open letters. We now return to I, Claudius. Oh, that's more pink than I would ever wear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he's done on that side. <laughs> hey, look how far you can see into his nose. Secret agent super booger. Pepper, you're going undercover. Oh, no. Madame Suzatska was here. Uh -oh. Hey, I hope she's speeding up the film. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Heatherton. What is this, a Bergman film? It's 10.30, do you know where your hot chick is? Oh, I gotta remember to write that dream down. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm Scott Bio. Oh, buffalo shot, sorry about that. Comfort. How'd you ever find me here, huh? <laughs> Do your horrible yoga exercises permit you to kiss me? Oh, well, not exactly. This is for comfort. <clears throat> and this <gasps> is for grandma. <gasps> Let me go! Oh. Boy, relationships with secretaries were a lot different back then. Already I'm a dickweed. <laughs> hey, got any gum? <laughs> That's a nice way to hear. Come on, pull me out of here, you big oaf. I'm not Agent Fulton. I'm not on duty. Well, then why'd you come over for that? The boss sent you, didn't he, huh? Hmm? Hmm? No, oh. Coleman didn't send me. It was my idea. Oh. I thought you'd be pleased to see me, but I see I was wrong. Come on, tell me. Uh, why did you come, really? I thought you were mad hell. Oh, all right. Coleman did send me on an assignment. We need Super Dragon. Oh, no, no. Oh, Super no, Dragon no, no, no longer exists. Oh, yeah. I'm just really playing boy. Brian Cooper now. But I'm listening. Go ahead. Have you ever heard of Fremont, Michigan? Yeah, it's a little college town, isn't it? That's right. Just an ordinary college town till strange things started to happen. Like what? Two healthy students suddenly die of heart oh, failure. Oh, I've heard this one. Four others strangely collapse from an unknown nervous disorder. Fights break out for no reason, and no one can explain how all this insanity is overtaking the whole student body. It's college. Lighten up. The local doctors and police don't have any connection. But Coleman smells something burning. Well, they make stoves. I mean, put on oh. the Well, not on your life. I got my fireman suit hanging up in the closet. Oh, oh, oh. You could cancel your resignation. Not on your life. He has no batch. He's perfectly <sighs> smooth. Oh, really? That's the story except for Agent Wilson, who was sent to investigate. Mm -hmm. He was found dead after four days at the bottom of an elevator shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you worked with me for ten years. If anything's wrong in Fremont, he should be able to handle it. Don't you worry about it. No, 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 you let me handle this. Even Coleman hasn't got the right to interrupt a man's privacy. Oh, that's my super dragon. Fred Winston, W. Alice Chicago. Hello. Oh, Cooper. Yes, it's me, Brian Cooper, talking. How are you? I'm fine. Never felt better. Agent Fulton there? That's right. Agent Fulton's right here. But it won't do you any good. I'm not leaving the place. Jackson's dead. What? His car plunged into the river, and he was killed instantly, two or three miles outside of Fremont. How are you? We're not convinced it was an accident. If Fritz Hollings were, you were super very Marianation. Good friends, and so I wanted to tell you right away. Coleman. Hello. Coleman, are you there? Hello, hello Mr. Coleman. I seem cut off from you. Hello, hello. Why, he hung up on me, that son of a... Ha, 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 ha. I'm going to go lay on the lawn again this Did place. You know about you, huh? What happened to him? He's dead. Jim. You better get dressed. Mm. Bert Convy, P.I. Fremont. Your friend's death was an accident. The trouble is, if one doesn't know that canyon road... It can be pretty dangerous. But Jackson was a very good driver. Sure, but folks saw him pick up a good-looking girl. Oh, look, they're in America because there's a flag. I just took his oh. eyes off the road for an instant. Those things can happen. Who is the girl? 
Christine Bruder, a girl from Amsterdam. She's a friend of Mr. Ross, who owns the bowling alley on Marlboro Street. Oh, where the flavor is. But her body wasn't found. That's a little strange, don't you think? Not at all. It was probably washed downstream. I wonder if he's smooth, too. That's a brilliant explanation. This is everything Jackson had with him. <laughs> Personal effects make me happy. <laughs> to his apartment. I know my job, eh? <laughs> I hope you're saving your money. Well, sure, I've got a six-month CD and an Iowa... Hey! Hi, honey, I'm smooth. Kettle? Yes, I did it. Oh, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Hmm. Wait a minute, I broke into my own place. Well, that's a weird switch. Light doesn't travel as fast in his world. <laughs> now it's time for my cookie slides. Hmm? Oh, this is before they had post-it notes. It's going to be even more private than I thought. <laughs> He's got DNA up on the wall. It's time for the banana split show. I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Boss. Cuckoo for Cocoa Boss. I want a beer back. Oh, wait, man. This is like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Congratulations on your purchase of a Black Forest cuckoo clock. Hmm. Ross Perot, the early years. Ross. It is Ross. <laughs> I hope you're not in any hurry to close up. I'd like to have a few what words with you. I want a Snickers <laughs> now. There's only $10 in the cash drawer. I don't want any money. I'll settle for a bottle less than that. Just some of this gum and not this stuff either, but the stuff mm -hmm. you give the kids. Stay there. Atta boy. But I've got a Charlie Callis audition no. to go. Ha, ha, no, oh, no. What's, um, what's so special about this? Nothing. It's just a different brand, that's all. Oh, oh you're I working for the Wrigley Company, aren't you? Now, let's talk some more. What do you know about Christine Bruder? She chews juicy fruit, okay? What do you want from me? I don't know anything. She came here from Amsterdam about a year ago. And now she's... And now she's dead. Yes. Yes, yes. Do you believe that? Um, no. Why not? Uh, yes! I don't believe mm. that either. Don't let my sore ear get like Mr. Gower, please. Hmm? No. Please. No, 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 no. No, I've got dental work. Sure, sure. It's funny joke garlic gum. All right, I'll tell you about her. All right. Let's see what you have to say, huh? She came from Amsterdam. I met her. No. It's P.K. Wrigley himself. A drive-by snack bar assault. I think you should talk to your delivery man. <laughs> Twin Peaks. Oh, slapped him a little too hard. Oh, delicious fruit flavor burst right through his skull. Tonight, who wants gum? He did. He did. The Thin Blue Lines. Right above the massage parlor. That's convenient. Oh, I get it. He's an undercover agent for the apartment guy. Uh, get that wind ensemble out of here. Oh, hello. Uh, nice, but not my color. Have you got it in salmon pink? Hmm. Hmm. Well, what do you... Super neat. He's got a puppet stage right here in his room. Hmm. This place is nook crazy. I don't know. Dust. We need to get Hazel in here to clean. Diamonds on my windshield, net tears from heaven. I'm rolling into town on the interstate. Only to find Gideon's Bible. I may be a secret agent, but there are places even I won't look. <laughs> I'll just take this. I take one thing from each apartment I break into. I figure that's fair. Andre Gregory? But why? Should be Wally Shaw on the other one. Oh, so that's where he keeps his aunt and uncle, huh? 
I know Ron Carter's around here somewhere. Hmm? Hello, Uhura. Ooh. Quick, get it under cold water! You've been eating french fries with Moe Moskovitz, haven't you? Oh, oh he didn't flush. Oh. Oh. I hope you're satisfied. Jeez, that hurts. Oh. Hmm? Shot him with a knife. Oh, this car is a neat pasta maker option. It's Walter Winchell. Yes, what is it? It's me, Super Dragon. Super Dragon who? Huh. How did you enjoy your trip? Well, they gave me a warm welcome. <laughs> I made my mind up. I'm going to keep I'm my gonna baby. I'm going to take Jackson's assignment. I'll need an assistant. How about Babyface? Babyface? But he's three. You want a gangster? But he's in Sing Sing, serving time on a sentence as big as an encyclopedia. Well, that means he knows a lot. Get him out. Hmm? It's impossible. Oh. All tangled up air. Analyze it. There's absolutely nothing in that stick of chewing gum. Hmm? Our scientists haven't been able to find the smallest trace of drug in it. And it just bothers me, that's all. It's just... If there is one, it's tasteless, odorless, and leaves no trace in the human body. Velveeta? How many have taken a dose of this poison without knowing it? And why is the drug being handed out among minors? Cooper, why is the drug being circulated gratis? That's what I want to know. There's no profit in it. There must be an ulterior motive. Is this part of my review? That's what we've got to find out. What is it? And who are the distributors? Hmm. What are they after? A uh, delicious fruit flavor, I sir? Yes. But it must be pretty important if they're willing to leave behind them a string of corpses. We have one clue. Christine Bruder. And she seems to have escaped. All the import documents, all the Ming bases found in Ross's room, they all seem to point to one city. Circle Pines. Amsterdam. Oh. And to leave. Hmm? No. From the line of Secret Agent Super Dragon Toys. <laughs> Andy Devine. Baby. Here I am. Baby, you are lost. <laughs> How are you, huh? <laughs> a brother's touch. <laughs> Hey, you're, uh, you're getting a little fat living up the street, aren't you? <laughs> you know how it is. You go soft up in Sing Sing. I need a vacation. Things may get hot. It's better than being on ice. Mm -hmm. Remember, he's not a permanent gift. You will return him at the end of the assignment, and don't forget it. Okay. Okay. Good luck to both of you. Thanks. Well, what was our assignment again? Hey, speaking of gifts, and you don't have to return that one. And you? I got the twin. They're not hot, are they? I built it with my own hands. I got a patent on it. Mm, same pink, different day. Everything's inside. Passports, money, identification of the agents in Amsterdam. Officially, you're a lawyer looking for Christine Bruder concerning an Well, well done, Agent Popo. Agent Popo? Do not worship false eyelashes. Brian, I had a dream. I dreamt I was in a field of tulips with you. Sometimes dreams are ah! true. Wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. Dum, 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 dum. Well, what do you? <laughs> Only the Dutch. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Do you speak English? Frozen glad you. Some French, no? Nay. Nee. Italian? Nay. Nee. Some other time. Nay. Nee. Hey, does anybody else hear these bells? <laughs> no, this town can get pretty annoying. The prisoner. Look, they got kind of a weird miniature golf course on the second floor up there. That's called the Family Circus. See, Billy drew the strip. That's. Hmm. Oh, I sure would like to tilt at that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know, Tom, this secret agent super dragon music that you turn into a song doesn't look that commercial to me. It ain't supposed to be commercial, man. It's jazz. Well, how would you describe jazz anyway, Tom? Oh, man, if you have to ask, you'll never know. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Let's win. Right, Daddy. <laughs> one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Super 
secret agent Super Dragon Take it throw, Daddy Secret Agent Super Dragon Yeah, grab an eight, Joel Secret Agent Super Dragon Haha, <laughs> we're cooking now Secret Agent Oh, uh, wait, a, wait a second. Uh, you mean it just goes on like that, huh? Uh, oh, uh, Crow takes a trumpet solo now. Uh, I, I only picked up the trumpet a few minutes ago. I only know two notes. Well, it's not my fault if your chops ain't together. Hey, chop on oh, this, whoa, whoa, pal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, like wait a second, wait a second. Right? Cut it out, guys. Listen, I've got an idea. Just keep playing and singing like you were, and I'll add some spice. Trust okay, me. from the top, it is. Secret agent. Super Dragon. Yeah, with action. Secret Agent. Boom. Super Dragon. With romance. Secret Agent. Super Dragon. Intrigue. Secret Agent. Super Dragon. With boats. Dragon. Oh, baby, 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 baby. I killed that fat barky, baby, baby, baby. Um, 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 I... Oh, sorry, guys. I... Joel, man, you are really out there. <laughs> it took courage to do what you did, baby. You took a risk, you stepped out there on the cutting edge, and you failed miserably. Now, could we please do it the way I wrote it, please? Secret agent. Ew. Super dragon. Super dragon. Secret agent. My bots are terminally dragon. hip, but I love them anyway. Agent. We'll be right back. Super dragon. Super dragon. Secret agent. Secret agent. Super dragon. Super dragon. Look at it closely. And look at it. No doubt about it. It's a photograph. He's been following me for days. Uh, can I come in? What is it? I want to show you these little toys I... No! no! Oh! oh, but if I'm in the way, no, I'll no. come back stay, later. Stay, stay, stay. Introduce the bodyguard. Mm -hmm. This is Babyface. This is Charity Farrell. Alias Rembrandt 13. Oh, well, it... Huh? Our man in Holland. Say. Oh, well. <laughs> I see we're in good shape. Um, <laughs> how are you, Charity? Well, how are things? Like the country. Uh -huh. Flat. Well, I don't think you'll be bored with us. It's a joke. Forget it. it. What do you know about Christine Bruder? Secret agent super she rude, if you ask me. Club number five. Been to see her? Yes, but nobody answers there. Porter? There are no porters in Holland. Well, that's a good thing to know. Oh, shut up, M. M. at Wall. Excuse me. Neighbors? Hmm? They don't know anything. Men in a life? Men in a life? you. Most important. Lamas. Fernando or Lorenzo? A millionaire, mad for her. The mask you sent me was the one that Christine wore at his masked ball last year. Good. We'll start with him. It's already done. Senor Lamas is receiving attorney Brian Cooper tomorrow at 10. Fine. I think we'll get along all right. Anything else? Yes, one little thing. Are you a natural redhead? Are you a natural blackhead? You'll have to take my word for it. For now. Wait, are you saying, uh, does that mean I'm, uh, oh, bye. Oh, flat, I get you it. You know what I always said, dames are like safe. Some guys know their secrets and some guys don't. Hmm? Is that what you've always said? Yeah. I think you spent too much time cracking safes. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. Why, there's Amsterdam. Hey, Maury! Oh. oh. Hey, his eyes have a zoom feature. I think it's time we made a couple of social calls. Let's start with Christine Bruder. All right. Now, why did he bring this guy? I made you an outfit special for the occasion. It's a bulletproof teddy. <laughs> it's the coolest thing going and absolutely bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> this won't go well, with my black notice. skirt. Well, what did you want, huh? Buttons and bows? Oh, there's a satin tap pant that goes with ah. it. And while we're on the subject of buttons, perfect, I should have brought huh? Jack West. Just like the others. He's kind of a white trash cue, isn't he? Yeah. 
It's ingenious. It closes your jacket. All right. Okay, now, I'm the escaped convict and you're the warden's wife. <laughs> Perfect fit, huh? It's a little tight uh, in the what's, bosom. Uh, what's this for? This? Hmm? Is the safety. Hmm? Are they going steady now? Ooh. That's it. Hmm. It seems to work all right. Hey, now tell me I'm not a genius. All right. <laughs> you're not a genius. Hey, I walked right into that one. Ba boom. Oh, well, now he's secret agent super loiterer. There you are. Larrabee, is that you? Andy Capps gained weight. No, it isn't. I know what you're wearing. <laughs> Boy, I've seen a lot of apartments on this trip, haven't they? Hey, it's Rula Lenska's place. This isn't like a John Waters film, and they lick all the furniture. Tub Taylor on vibes. Mm, Roy Tans. Here, try opening the top. That. Well, I, I loosened it for you. Oh, I didn't get you anything. He's wearing the Phil Harris collection. Oh, it's Grandma's brag book. Here, you keep the picture of Vic Tabak. I'm just gonna freshen up in here, okay? I enjoy being a girl. Huh? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mother Teresa. Or maybe not. Are you looking for somewhere to sleep or something else? No, I was feeling a little bit lonely, that's all. Did you think I would keep you company? Something like that, yes. Uh, do you have a towel I can that borrow? That might have been your idea. But you've come to the wrong address. Give me my robe. Oh, sure. Stay where you are. Lay down. Would you turn your face to the wall, please? Oh, no, I don't mind turning. I, I like all kinds of games. <laughs> Ooh, pretty lady. <laughs> and who, is this? who, him? Why, I never saw that man before in my life. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. What do you think you're doing in this nice lady's bedroom? Why don't you get out of here, you stupid oaf? Don't get out of here. Oh, okay, here. okay, I'm going. I uh, got the wrong door. Alan and Rossi, ladies hey. and gentlemen. Alan and Rossi. Julie Budd. And you, what are you waiting for? Well, a little information, if you don't mind. Do you, uh, happen to know this girl, hmm? Why, yes, it's Christine Bruder. She's living here with me. What do you want to know for? I happen to be a lawyer. I'm here in a very important inheritance problem. My name is Brian Cooper. Cooper, like the hockey equipment. Sorry, but Christine's not in Amsterdam. She's away with some friends. Do you happen to know when she'll be getting back? I imagine if she's having fun, it'll be a while. Well, I'd like to see her someday when she's not so busy amusing herself. But please, next time, ring the bell. Leave me your address in case my friend They talk like a speed racer cartoon. Sure, sure, here you are. Hope I see you again, hmm? Hey, secret agents crossed out and lawyers written in. Hmm, oh well. Here on Larry King Live. You're up, you're on the air. Please, Alex. You've got to listen carefully. Yeah, I know. I look like Spike Jones. You must do it. He's very dangerous. That's right. Just do what I tell you. Go to the window. Yes, you must. Increase your bust. Oh, enough spy crap. Time to see Amsterdam. <laughs> Brides had revisited to the manor born. Upstairs, downstairs. The magician with Bill Bixby. Hmm? Hmm? That's the last picture of her, over a year ago. She has a beard now. Hmm? Mario Cuomo. Christine and I were very good friends. Nobody in this movie knows when to stop decorating. Oh, 
You got any art oh, here? All of a sudden. Kablooey. The girl I thought I knew became a stranger. Moody, withdrawn. I found out she'd begun to drug herself. I tried to get her to stop it. She wouldn't. She booked passage for America. Now you say that she's returned. But well, good luck with your pledge drive. I'd have expected her to telephone. Want to give this a try? Are you having an auction masquerade this year? Yes. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Except cheese. This year I'm offering a canvas that's rather extraordinary. You're a lover of the arts, aren't you? Well, I'm afraid all I can afford is to look. <laughs> Get out! May I show you my lute player by Franz Hals? No, 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 no. It's the prize of the entire collection. Emo avec lute. It's worth over a million Dutch florins. But I expect it to raise considerably Ooh. more. No, it'll all be for charity. I think you'll find this interesting. But stupid. Over here. Get in this. It's an international hospital for babies with malnutrition. And pancakes. Art is a marvelous thing, but saving lives, children's lives especially, it's not that is good. more important. That's why I always try to make my auction spectacular. It appeals to everyone's vanity. An Apollonia, too. Generosity, as you know, is rare. Vanity, on the other hand, is a rather common trait. Yes, but the vain like to be seen, and your part is on masquerades, aren't they? <laughs> that makes it a little more exciting. The losers can remain anonymous. And the winners remain bottomless. And when the winner removes his mask, there is usually applause. And his vanity is satisfied completely. Oh, that's most ingenious. But I'm afraid we've taken up too much Not at time. All. Very grateful to you for your visit. Um, uh, what else? We're all uh, anxious oh. to locate Christine. I have every hope we can. We'll keep in touch. You've been most kind. Yeah, thank you. Well, let us know when the Pavarotti uh, comes in. There's a famous hotel in Volendam. Called the oh, Shady Rose. Yes, it's Bander. Christine used to go there frequently, I recall. You might try that. Thank you. But don't eat the, the almonds in the bar. They charge okay. you ten bucks for them. You look a little discouraged. Looks like I brought you on a wild goose chase. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. I like geese. But, oh. Christine was pretty well known at Lama's place, I suppose. Fernando or Lorenzo. Why don't you pick up four tickets to the fair, huh? Four? You plan to bring a friend? Sure, the Joker. When I play, you see... I always have one up my sleeve. The Joker? You better reserve a room for tonight in a quiet hotel someplace out of the city. <laughs> I'm taking a little trip to Volendam. I could get lucky. <laughs> lucky? <laughs> get it? That was a joke. <laughs> Allow me. Going. I'll see you tonight. See you at my place. Before your Joker arrives. <laughs> oh, boy, that kid's got personality plus. Picture, picture is showing us Holland. Panakukin! Uh, excuse me. Hi, uh, do you have any dolls or postcards? Bander is. Rex door, Erst Sudney. Thanks a lot. Souvenir of Fallen Down. You want me so bad. Damn secret super jerk, if you ask me. Here, give this to Audrey Hepburn. I'm so embarrassed she wore the same thing as me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, do you know where I could find some knickknacks or curios with kind of a Holland theme? Jeez. Oh, somebody put me up to this. I hate this. Tonight, music box Wait, danger. Yes. She was one of my best customers. She came here almost every night and brought her whole crowd with her. Well, uh, did you ever happen to see this man in the group? Hey, that's dirty. Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. No, I don't know him. There were always so many of them. Since they stopped coming, this place has been like a morgue. Except for all those customers. Don't you worry, honey. I think maybe you got yourself a live one. <laughs> Can I use the phone? Help yourself. Marika? Now what? Please help this gentleman to find the phone. Yeah, this way, please. Don't forget to come and see me again. How could I forget? Well, you're a secret agent. You have a lot on your mind. Hey, anywhere I can go to soak up there the local color? I've got to drain the Super Dragon. Oh, come on, God, he's smooth. American Embassy, let me have 223. Yes. Cooper speaking. Send the following cable. Derek. Hey, it's a Franco-American flag. 
Fulton's presence required mm -hmm. for brooder air. Stop, Cooper. Yes? Okay, Mr. Cooper, right away. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> uh -oh, hey, you're uh, out of paper there. Look. Hmm. Uh. Oh, well, here goes. <gasps> I know somebody who borrowed a pantsuit from Hope Lang. <laughs> Ooh. I hope Mr. Cooper will excuse me for keeping him waiting. I just threw on a little something to make myself presentable. Well, I really don't mind waiting at all as long as I think the results are good, but um, I was expecting Rembrandt 13. But it's Miss Farrell who's receiving tonight. Please, will you come in? Hanging with Mr. Cooper. I should have seen all the quaint stuff I saw today. <laughs> Boy, that Holland. I, uh, I think I caught a little bit of a cold. Get ready, he's going to steal her cigarette. Yep. You're not going to talk about work now. I'm afraid we're going to have to. Well, Bernice in the cube next to me is such a gossip. All right, I'll get you the file. Yep. Yeah. Would you get a cigarette, please? Yep, did it again. I'll take a bourbon. Uh, me too, thanks. Oh. Ugh, tastes like catnip. He's putting it out on the couch. Hey, uh, got any magazines? I'm gonna bend at the waist someday, I know it. Oh, well, Christmas time slaughterhouse friend Dime Arrears? He's a slow reader. <laughs> I'm the best thing in this message. <laughs> Man, I'm smug. <laughs> hey, how much longer are you going to be? What, you fall in? Oh. Anybody know what's going on? Boy, this really ties into the whole chewing gum thing. Maybe I should open a curio shop. About time. I wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> In that light, she looks just like Getty Lee. <laughs> I thought you were going to change. What gives? Should a gentleman offer a lady a tipperillo? Hmm. She got tall all of a sudden. She can probably really feel the smoothness now. Never mind. Of course, she must be getting paid a lot of money. Well, something intoxicating happens when brill cream and uh, white shoulders meet, you know? Oh, that happens to everyone now and again. Oh. Oh, he should follow through on something for once. <sighs> we gotta go. It happens very often in this district. I'll get a flashlight. People, places. Oh, good. Uh, well, if you've all had a chance to look over the script, let's start on. Crow, page. this better not be another stupid Earth versus Soup type of spec script, buddy. Tom, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Huh. I've streamlined, chopped, and channeled the spy movie genre to reflect 90s sensibilities. Well, you know, Crow, that sounds really interesting. Thank you, Joel. The market demands it, you know. Huh. Uh, Tom, you'll be reading the part of Sandy Windham Hill, the good looking, in an androgynous way, super spy who is in touch with his feminine side. What? I I realize I'm asking you to play against type, but I Gee, think... Gee, you... that sounds really stupid, Crow. I can't foil the evil forces trying to conquer the world if I'm a dumb old sissy, oh, Bridges. Wait, wait a minute, uh, sir. Well, let's just give it a chance. We'll just read Crow's treatment, okay? The Spy Who Hugged Me. Huh. Uh, Joel, you'll be reading a couple of parts, if you would. Sandy's love interest, Holly Affirmations, and the bad guy, Gary Diabolique. For God's sake, man, I want to drink martinis in Istanbul and utter glib bon mots in Moscow and drive with my feet while escaping thugs in Monte Carlo and meet girls in Eponema, the kind of things a super secret super spy is supposed to do. I support your owning those feelings. I support this. Top of page 12, Joel, you're Holly. Okay. <clears throat> you understand, Mr. Wyndham Hill, that even though we are sharing a sexual tension between us, I must kill you. Um, Holly, thank you for being honest. Let me say that I think you're a really terrific dynamite lady, but right now I'm in a committed relationship with someone who's very special to me. Hmm. I don't believe this. Okay, Holly pulls a gun out of her purse. I'll oh, use my please. hand. 
and says, then you understand, Mr. Wyndham Hill, nothing personal. Oh, uh, boundaries, Holly, boundaries. Oh, Crow, I'm supposed to be a man who leads a life of danger. Servo, the only way around it is through it. So, it. Okay, let's jump ahead a few pages. Sandy has carpooled with Gary Diabolique to the World Domination Headquarters. And Joel, you're Gary, and you're going to shame the world with your specially invented anti-Bradshaw device. So top of page 26, and Thomas. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Diabolique, if you have a few minutes, I need to confront you on your shaming behavior. <laughs> oh, Mr. Big Wyndham Hill thinks he's going to save the world. Well, who do you think you are, mister? Uh, Gary, I feel you're upset with me. I know it's not about me, but about issues in your family of origin. You've got to be kidding me, Crow. Uh, so you think you know everything, Mr. Namby Pamby Damby, but gonna cry now, huh? Gonna cry? Um, I have to ask you to respect my boundaries. You don't get it, do you, you stupid moron idiot? I'm going to control how people respond to me. I am going to rule the world! Gary, that's really codependent. I can't believe I just said codependent! That's it. You completely defiled a revered film archetype, and you made me feel like a total buffoon. I'm out of here. Well, really, only Tom can make Tom feel like a total buffoon. Don't bite me. Yeah. Oh, we got oh, movies oh, oh, oh. There he is. Oh, good, an action sequence. Finally. And it's over. <laughs> oh. There he goes. Uh, and ah. a classic Jackie Chan disarm. All right, now who sent you, huh? All right, your bourbon. Does this answer your question? You take it easy. I take it any way I can. He hasn't talked yet. Hey, that's my gum! Oh, no, now we'll never know if Razzles are candy or gum. Cyanide. It's like poison or something. Everybody dies too quickly in this mess. I better get rid of him. Do you have a garbage bag or something? Oh. Hey, he's a lot lighter than I thought. It's hollow. I uh, just set him anywhere. Going down, Mr. Interloper? Hey, he made the pool. <laughs> it's so convenient to have a river so close. Oh, yeah. Well, back at it. <laughs> Amsterdam, I'm good. Oh, no. No, where were my lips? Oh, yeah. Oh. You know, I don't think I could go back to kissing after someone just died in my apartment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd need a while to pull myself together. Yeah, sure, a couple of days. No, a couple of minutes. Oh, he seems to be taking it all right. So does she. Yes. No. no, pass. Oh, no, I hope their chins don't lock. Oh, I get it. A car, a brick road. <laughs> Driving the thing. Sonny Corleone, watch out! Hello, uh, any talent to declare? Oh, you seem nice. Place, a division of Huge Co. Strangely enough, it's an unfinished furniture place. Dun, dun. Oh. Oh. I think you need to take a rest in Ward E. Oh, this thing. Oh, it tickles. <laughs> oh, that's my zucchini wrapped in foil. <laughs> Uh, I'm an actuary, and I still have to go through this thing. There, happy? Now I'm sterile again. Ah, good morning, Mr. Solo. All this to get to the vending machines. Looks like he only has one message. Come on, come on! Oh, it's Jack Lord again. It's Herb from Burger King. 
Could something please just happen? Oh, can't get out now. Carl, I just forgot something, okay? Don't sit down yet, Alex. The chair is still wet. Do you realize how many times you've failed in your mission? Twelve? Oh, it's rhetorical. Uh, does this have to be an all-staff, sir? Oh, well, what's that? Didn't know about that. Will somebody answer the table, please. I'll get it. Pretty cool, huh? Just had that put in. What's well, it take? A couple of nine volts? Professor Kruger. I read your report, and I am satisfied with the results obtained so far. Remind your engineers to use but coasters on me. make more rapid progress. Pick up the pace, chop, chop. Dr. Mizimoto. Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. You have not yet succeeded in perfecting a universal catalyst for Synchron 2. Well, it's hard. I'll give you four days more. Starting now, or the... Alex. What's with your hair? A third American spy is arriving in Amsterdam. Mm. I should be sorry to have to replace you. But if you fail me again, I shall have no choice. Regarding Christine Bruder, she has served her purpose. Well, that table's really calling him All on right. the carpet. I won't fail you. Leonard Cohen at home. <laughs> Agent Fulton at your service. Something I can do for you? Yeah, comb your hair. You can make out my will. First, tell me that you're glad to see me. I'm thrilled to see you. Once again, very nicely. Uh, let me unbunch you up. <laughs> wow, looks like they're making out in Peter Brady's room. Mm, so, when's my review? <laughs> wow, she's responsive. Hello? Oh. You'd better come down. We found Christine. I'll be in the bar. Huh? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Business or pleasure? It's Rembrandt 13 calling. Then it's business. Mm, you haven't seen Rembrandt 13. She looks like a white member of the Supremes. Who's comfort? A real luscious blonde. Ah, oh, that's the Joker. Joker? Well, looking for Mr. Goodbar? She's at the Central Clinic. They called Lamas and he let me know immediately. They better get there right away. Come on. Come on. Fashions from the Lollipop Guild collection. Not bad, huh? If you like that sort of thing. Bet that red hair came out of a bottle. Yeah, look who's talking. <laughs> a martini, please. Now that comes out Two of a martinis. bottle. I don't want to die. Help me. You, you've got to. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Look, I've got problems, and too. Synchron. Hurry. Please, bring me a pizza. This hospital food's crap. Very comforting. Yeah, he's got a good dead side manner. There's no way to save her. Okay, bye. We don't even know what killed her. Gum? <sighs> well, there's some... Things that I have to attend to, that, that, that I have to do with things. Right. Science! Yes, what have you come for? Pencil? Christine is dead. You killed her by refusing her the antidote. After all she had done for you, and the same will happen to me. You seem upset. Yes, it could. Super Dragon is not yet eliminated. Bill! Because you failed. I don't want to kill anybody. Until now, I've done everything for you, even against my will. You have got to keep your promise and free me from this drug. Please. Hey, how'd they do that? The clinic. Not impressionable. They're both doing Shelley Berman routines. I saw that man again. Yes. He else. What's that lump on his chest? So you chest? followed him. Of course, but he managed to get away. I'm not that good at following yet. <laughs> his being at the clinic makes me believe that this girl didn't die a natural death. What's more, they're going to bury her tomorrow. Don't that beat all. They're a little bit too much in a hurry, don't you think? Well, maybe we'll beat them to it. Looks great from this angle. I think I'll take a look around that clinic tonight. Tell them your volleyball practice is running late. The service entrance is Prinzenhof 16. Yes, I think I can find that all right. You're always right on the ball, aren't you, sweetheart, huh? Yes, I'm in a Howard Johnson. <laughs> God, I'm good.
Oh, terrific. This guy's back. Excuse me, sir. Uh, where are you going? Uh, sir, I have to stamp your hand, sir. Sir. Could you explain again why I do all the work? This is too easy. Then what took you so long? Hey, why can't you ever support me? Have a good time. I'm gonna make the deposit. I'll be right back. Hmm, 200 a month plus utilities, huh? A Screen Gems presentation. You know, the other apartments I've snooped around are much nicer than this. Wow, this is a swinging boiler room. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Dig it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It looks good. Look. Hooray, I'm Super Clown. I paid to see the Lycan Kelder, and I'm not leaving till I do. Jim West. Babyface, I'm being beat up by Longshoreman. Well, this isn't bad. We'll be home in... Hey! Oh! It looks like the end of Romancing the Stone. It's not funny. I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> looks like a Crosby family outing. <laughs> Man, whatever lichen kill there is, it must be pretty good. Took the nice tea plunge. <laughs> It was my punch, you know. Yeah, well, I made him woozy. Oh, he needs a shovel proof vest there. <laughs> oh, great. Always hey. taking care of the one outside. Good, now we'd better get moving. Yes, it's Lech Valenza and Billy Pilgrim. Ha, fool ya. Ooh, maybe not. Stay still. Boy, it's a good thing that 24-hour mortuary is just around the corner. Now give me a hand with it. Yay! <laughs> Boy, he sure is smooth, boss. Hey, Fitz, last time we had to cut the feet off. Screw the lid down. If you want to lock in deadness. His chin looks like a Parker House roll. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Hey, I'm feeling better. You know, someday we should all go in and buy a Makita. Uh, guys, this isn't funny. Man, I hate all week. You better telephone the boss. Right. Borrow me a quarter. Hey, he's gonna show himself a Linda Hunt movie. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Phelps. Morning, Mr. Phelps. Morning, Mr. Phelps. Morning, Mr. Phelps. Hello? This is Valiki. It's a great day at Tires ready Plus. Ready for you? Yeah, ready for the burial. What? Okay, good idea. Right, boss. <laughs> Guy's actually pretty funny. <laughs> okay, guys, I give. Fun's over, guys. Fun's over. What are you doing? The boss has had a brilliant idea of dropping it into the canal where it's going to disappear without leaving a trace. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. It's not funny. It'll all be over in an hour. <laughs> Uh, guys, guys, it's really hot in here. Oh, screw you then. I'm <laughs> uh, gonna time how long I live. That'll show them. One Mississippi, our father. Hey, what do you know? Something's connecting with something else yeah. in the film. Yeah. Okay, take that in. Lift with the legs. Good, good. Oh, I get it. He's going to lower his metabolism like James Coburn and in like Flint. Dum, dum, da, dum. Come on, guys, let's do the song. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum, da, dum. Come on. 
Okay, okay. L lean your end a little. Uh, oh. There you go. Grab oh, that end. Mm. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, many. Uh, you know, you find yourself doing the weirdest things in this business. <laughs> yeah, ain't it the truth? Mm. Lightland Lake. Oh, and this guy's dead. We don't gotta buy him no ticket. But there was no monster. Here at Gordon's of Gloucester, we bury our corpses fresh. Never expected this to happen. Oh, you mean he's still alive? Wow. Hey, what's he doing? Stop that. Hi. Old Dutch, the snappy chip, crispy, crunchy, light. Windmills were held stationary today in tribute to the death of secret agent Super Dragon. They are so incredibly in Holland, man. Mm -hmm. Well, they shouldn't have taken the harbor excursion boat to do this. We commit the body to the okay, deep. Boys. Dump them. There he goes. Oh, told you. That wasn't pretty. Whoa, whoa, just filled my lungs up with water. <laughs> I'm in for it now. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Oh. Bon voyage. Charlie Brown. <laughs> uh, I'm tired. I think I'll sleep with the fishes. Ouch. Owie. The only way he could foil us is if he reduced his breeding. Oh, don't even think about it. Yeah, you're that. right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go have a grolsch. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Somewhere beyond the sea. At least he has his cash card. Conrad Poo and his inflatable knees. He is George Jetson. I see your white belly. Oh no, I'll get it from the inside. Oh! Oh, this must be in the Brookstone hard to find tool catalog. Ooh. Ah, that oh, noise! The, oh. Pork on a plate. Free, it's me. <coughs> What's my time on this one? They're doing all this in front of a starving artist painting. Did you sleep well, Brian? Oh, very frigging funny, Tom well, Wicker. Was a bit damp, and the service was lousy, but it could have been a lot worse if it hadn't been for your help. And now everybody thinks we're dead. That might work out better than you think. And thanks, Peanut. April 11th. Dear Diary, he's dead. I can now love Stan. Finally came to terms with the hair. Oh, and I found the perfect clown suit to wear around the house. Corman to Brian Cooper. Conditions in Fremont worse. Hundreds of students taken to psychiatric clinics. Stop. Don't so stop. So far, impossible to stop. hold sickness progress. Stop. <laughs> Ming vases found Ross home. False and fabricated with unknown substance. Stop. Absolutely urgent. Learn drug formula for antidote. Is it a humorous yeah. antidote? <laughs> hey, anybody want to go bowling? Something? I don't want to die. Help me. You, you've got to. Please. Very hard, little arm. Thank uh -huh. God. Hurry. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, it's Donna Summer. Hmm. Hmm. What do you know? Probably uses his reel-to-reel -reel to light a cigarette. <laughs> Antisynchron. That's the antidote. Antisynchron. Christine was drugged by the same drug the kids in Fremont got. But who's got this antisynchron? Yeah, let's drop this and bowl a few frames. This should tell us. Eight. Four. And huzzah, it's gone. Three. Two. Zero, dial it. Me? Yeah, go ahead, we're supposed to be dead. Who do I ask for? Uh, just whoever answers is fine. Charity Farrell. And then just hang up quick. It might really help if they'd let us in on the plot, mm -hmm. I think. Could you stand a little closer, please? She's modeling the Florence Henderson collection, I see. Ah, uh, your pen is ringing, sir. 
<laughs> my table's a guy, my pen is a phone. I'm nuts. Yes, who's there? I'd like to speak to Charity Farrell, please. It's an office. Why does he have to disguise the phone? There isn't anyone here called Charity. You have the wrong number. Uh, am I on speaker pen? Okay. Now, call on Mrs. Place. Use the deduction we agreed upon. Call. Three. Six. Tell anybody about my pen and I'll have to kill you. You give her this number. No, never. Well, answer the chafing dish. Yes. Uh, it's a great day at House of Art. Come for Tendi. Oh, me. that's for me. I'll take it on the pencil sharpener. Yes? Yes. Yes, I'm wearing a yes. sleeveless tank top. Just a moment, please. <coughs> Rat! Come for oh, Tendi, oh, right there. <laughs> Our American <laughs> friends, Cooper and the other one, promised her an invitation at the auction, and now she can't find them anywhere. Oh, and friends are visiting from Europe. <laughs> Good morning, yes? Yes. Yes, my secretary mentioned it. Yes, just a burgundy sweater with a tie. Very well, yes. I'll send you an invitation. Hotel Rutek. Splendid. I'm looking forward to it. I think you'll like our entertainment, so goodbye. <laughs> That's how you handle a super dragon. Our friend is in for a surprise. <laughs> Only after we learn where she got that number. <laughs> well, from here on out, sweetheart, I'm afraid they're going to put the finger on you. Like a cigarette, you boss? You the only surviving American agent who knows who Lamas is. Thanks a lot. Yeah, but you'll have us two covering you from behind. Uh, you've been in prison in too other long. In words, I have to serve as bait. That's right. <laughs> and I hope you try and be very attractive, bait. Miss Collagen Lips. Welcome to the Fred Mertz Mystery Cafe. See, they told me it was a costume ball. That's why. Around the world in 80 days. <laughs> See, really, they told me it was a costume ball. <laughs> Boy, aren't I the perfect ass. <laughs> hey, looks like it's snowing upstairs. <laughs> One word, Ben. Plastics. Hey, someone's got to make a keg run. Okay, we'll just shoot down to Belgium, man. They're open later. Yeah, get the French ambassador to go. Oh, no, that wild man Rainier wants to put the new riders on again. Woo! Hey, come on. Hey, everybody stay out of my parents' room. Come on. Eight thousand once, eight thousand twice, sold for eight thousand florins. She pulled in a good price. Mm -hmm. I never knew the Chinese ring vases could bring such a high price. It's a game of vanity for a worthy cause. Would you step up here, sir? Number seventy-three, a date with Prince Philip. Prince Philip. Mm. Sorry, sir. Telecheck says no way. Would you please? Beautiful vases, authentic Ming. Yeah, just like the ones in Fremont. Oh, that was low. Have you noticed how all four vases have been bought by men in over masks? Don't you hate that? You're a fortunate man. Thank you. I know where it's going, huh? Got a big old hole in his head. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we offer the next to last Ming vase. The artist who spent his life in creating these has evidently excelled himself in this allegory of spring. How much? Starting price, a mere 3,000 florins. All right, then, 2,000. 3,500. 5,000. 5,500. I've got some lupins. Eight, nine. Seven, I bid. 8,000, I bid. Eight, five, I bid. Hmm? 9,000. Yes. Well, they're all dressed as Mexican wrestlers. El Santo. You know, he should put eye holes in that thing. Oh, this is the nicest voting booth I've seen. Oh, and it feels good, too. Look at it. Time to go. Hey, Joel, uh, I've got a pretty good handle on what's cool, right? That's right. You do. Huh. And your average spy movie is generally pretty high on the cool scale? Oh, absolutely. There's nothing cooler than being a secret agent super spy. Well, then would you say that this guy, while lame, is typical of most spy guys in most spy movies? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, then I have a question. I was hoping this was headed somewhere. 
how come this guy keeps saying confusing stuff? Like, uh, the time he gets jumped, which is obviously a bad thing, he said they gave me a real warm reception. Yeah. Oh, well, they all go to super secret spy school. That's where they learn to hone their precise skills, like yeah. how to simultaneously attract and repel the opposite sex, the virtues of doing espionage in Monte Carlo mm -hmm. as opposed to Little Shoot, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. what makes turtlenecks so darn cool, mm -hmm. and most importantly, they take a course called post-kill puns. Mm -hmm. And that's where you learn to say things like, we went for a little swim, which means, they tried to drown me. Oh, now that's a cool class. Tell yeah, me more. Sure, yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they've got one hard and fast rule there, is you can't kill anyone unless you got a pun. Huh. Shooting someone is out. Hmm. Instead, it'd be more apropos to, like, push someone into the lion's den and say, he went out for a bite. Oh! Or run someone over with a steamroller and say, he was pressed for time. Right, yeah. like that. Or, or how about um, push a gal out of a plane and then mm -hmm. say, oh, she just stepped out. <laughs> right, and then there's always the classic, I was all tied up, which means I, I was, was all tied, tied up. up. Right. <laughs> you know, guys, I just realized that being a spy is one of the only times when a pun is actually acceptable. Yeah, ironically, death actually softens the blow of the pun. True. You know, I think I'd like to be a secret agent just for the pun of it. <laughs> oh, Tom, I'm going to rip your inoperable little arms off and jettison them into space. Oh, Crow, you're so disarming. No. <laughs> Let me at him. Let me at him. Uh, we'll be right back. I really got to hand it to you. That's it. That, <laughs> you're oh, going out on a oh, limb. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, We're having some <laughs> fun, huh? Oh, just watch the movie. Oh, here, I'll get my own tip. <laughs> the guy's got Snoopy checks. Let's see what else. Here. Uh, Monica, I just rolled Toot Steelman. Oh, no, he's going to wheelbarrow him. Now he's a fajita. <laughs> Oh, boy. Huh? Yeah. You know, there's an episode of Skinny and Fatty that's just like this. Hey, hey real comfortable confessional suite. Hmm. Feels good, too. Hmm. Hey, that was a lucky guess. Come in, we're just about to float the table. <laughs> bonk et bonk, et monsieur, place your bed. Hey, he's disguising his throat. Oh boy, this has all the markings of a clay shop party. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Sandler and Young. The gentlemen now retire to the back room to play Racco. Murray, use a coaster. Earth. Luna. Huh. Pluto. Goofy. Scrooge McDuck. Mars. Saturn. Jupiter. Secret agent Super Dragon in a deadly game of Hungry Hungry Hippo. And uh, this one, I don't think I need to tell you guys what it is. I'm glad to see you, gentlemen. Charmed. Charmed. The meeting of the Society of Guys Who Can Make a W will now begin. Watch your fingers, guys. Oh, I love it when the table talks. This is great. Watch this. Watch, watch. The little town of uh, Bethlehem, Bethlehem. Fremont oh. has witnessed the success of our experiment. I must impress upon you Me? the importance of this success for us all. Come on, boss. Can't the table talk now? You will also be glad to learn that we have liquefied Synchron 2. Liquefied. This means that our opportunities hmm. of administering it are limitless. I'll give you... An example. I'll perform a puppet show to demonstrate. <gasps> the booger! Oh the the booger! The booger! That is not my booger! You are looking directly into room 212. 
And now your General Cinema feature presentation. Hi. Hey, everybody, look at the guys in the mirror. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before the piece de resistance of the evening, Senor Lamas invites all of you to drink to the success of this benefit auction. And really drink. Down him. Shooters. Woo! Oh. Petticoat Junction. Cigars, cigarettes, tipperillos. Blonde on blonde on blonde on blonde. It's the Edie Adams gang. Ooh. <laughs> In the champagne, there is a carefully balanced dose of Synchron too. That makes your hair bouncy, right? Just oh. enough of it to amuse us. In half an hour, they will remember nothing. In another half an hour, they'll be hungry for Chinese. Oh, wow, so this is what the other half does, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. It's booze call. <laughs> here's to those big brown eyes. Yeah, here's to your death, big guy. <laughs> Waitress, there's a squeeze toy in my drink. <laughs> miss, miss. I just remembered I don't drink. <laughs> Whoa, close one. <laughs> And now, the most precious treasure of the collection, the magnificent Lute Flair by Franz Faust. Mm. I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, to open the bidding at 1,500,000 florins. Two million. Lower! Ah, two million. <laughs> I'm offered two million once, two million twice, and... Three million. I'll offer you three and a half. Anyone top three and a half? <laughs> Six million. A bajillion. A kazillion jillion. <laughs> Up teen berdillion. That's a personal insult. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, sir, consider a personal punch. Oh, they've been given a drink that turns them into Shriners. Oh, how horrible. <laughs> Will you look at that? <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> hey, everybody, let's boink! It's a good night at O-Bar. <laughs> ah, Louis Fourteenth, good one. That's two or three mil. <laughs> They're all just behaving like animals. <laughs> hey, bring back the funny pictures. What you have seen is only an example of the efficiency of Synchron 2. Whenever we choose to use it, then victory will be ours. Victory over what? Yes, gentlemen. The victory will indeed be ours. Ours the victory will be. We are going to change the course of human life. The antidote, anti-Synchron, is known to us and to us alone. Oh, and I told my brother, but he said he wouldn't tell me. And with it, we shall gain world mastery. Foreign agents have tried to stop us, notably the invincible <laughs> Super Dragon. They have been killed. The false Ming vases are now in our possession. The vases have been sent here from our factories in India. We have factories in India? The drug is mixed with the porcelain in such a way that no one could ever detect it. But still, it's delicious and locale. In six of them, there is a sufficient quantity of the drug to bring to a conclusion the first phase of the operation. Phase one, swing in 60 style party. <laughs> You're on. Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> That's odd. They're playing Twister where there ain't no Twister board. Doris Day, no! It's Serena. I'll fix that, Samantha. Hello, I'm Louis Jordan. I turn like you, I walk, I have a gun, and still I am Louis Jordan. Uh, cover me while I hit the snack table. I'm Louis Jordan. Don't make a sound. Get moving. Peep. Brilliant. <laughs> Our compliments. Thank you. Mother always calls during these meetings sorry. I can at last announce to you that Professor Kruger has been able to find a... Oh, and well, well, we will have it. Gentlemen, await instructions. Uh, can I ask why we're at this meeting? We will adjourn. <laughs> Let's get some of that kooky champagne, huh? Hmm? Huh? Ah, oh, criminy. Dave's doing his human cake roll thing again. You gotta jump on him and squirt the jelly out. I'm a naughty little cheesy blend. Cut it out, Get Dave. Out <laughs> Get to the embassy right away. Contact mm -hmm. Coleman. The okay. main phases are leaving tonight. I they can must do that. Be stopped. And the names and all addresses right. of all the buyers investigated. Uh -huh. I'll take care of company. Go on. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Hi, where are you going? What are you doing? Just want to walk with you is all. Nice dress. Comfort. Comfort me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, those guys are still hopped up on base. This was just a case of mistaken identity. Sorry. Heck of a ride, huh? Oof. Well, at least his vicious beating has a cool accompaniment. Mm -hmm. uh, this'll teach you to make blintzes out of super criminals. Huh. Now, mm -hmm. let's begin with Lamas's number. Fernando or Lorenzo? I'd like to know how you got hold of it. But I've told you it was Cooper. Ooh. The dead don't talk. You should see this place around quitting time. You are very beautiful. She's sure wearing a funny bathing suit. Mm -hmm. And it would be a pity to have to put you in our tub. Or you see, the Mr. Bubble may give you a urinary infection. Tell me, have you ever had a bath in electricity? Well, once I saw a bear eating a donut. Hey, George Wendt. Wendt where? Ha, another one, thank Don't you. <laughs> this is like the quiet man, only it takes place in a mansion in Holland with a couple of spies. <laughs> Well, now, Gary, this is the last time you're going to come home late. <laughs> hey, he's got him in a secret agent full dragon. Cephas, what's he doing here? All right. Time to play the little blintz game, mister. Stop. You boys stop roughhousing in there. I want him alive. I thought you were ten feet under, Brian. Ten feet under, Brian? Oh, you were wrong. Dennis James. Not anymore. Hands up. Now, Salmon says put him down. Huh. See, she wants me alive. Told you. You would have gotten into a lot of trouble. <laughs> you want <me> alive. <laughs> oh. Well, come to think of it, I did have a bath like that once. Thanks, though. This ought to refresh your memory. And your pores. Coward. Oh, all of a sudden they're at the Alamo. Don't pay for this! We'll get for you! Oh, uh, gee, can I have that cell? <laughs> oh, right in the cummerbund. <laughs> I'm with a client. <laughs> Sir, we don't take walk-ins. Oh! Whoa-wee-ho! <laughs> It's my roommate's dress. Wait, wait, wait. Who's alive? Let's count off here. <laughs> hey, it's not my gun. Check the powder burns. I didn't do it. Hmm. One last kiss would be nice. <laughs> Oop, you got a big um, ball of wax in there. Ooh. He must tell you. Everything depends on... All right, all right, it's all right now. Don't speak anymore. Don't speak anymore. All right, you shot me, you jerk. I can't believe I ever liked you. I couldn't help myself. I ate the last fruit and glad you... It was a drug. I know. I always knew. I knew it was the drug. Yes, it was the drug. I knew it. Mm. You know what? It'd be really bad if you died while I was kissing you. How does that make me feel? Gee. He had to get every last drop of love out oh, of her. Yeah. Well, mm, I could still hug her. That's not that weird, is it? No. Bad, huh? Well, <laughs> best untie the other one. <laughs> I just let myself out. The haunting Herb Alpert death theme here on The Music of Your Life. Hey, now, wait a second. Uh, two wrongs aren't going to make a right. Yeah. There. Well, I'll do the honors. When Super Dragon worked the deep fryers at Arby's, he knows what he's doing. They're going to rust-proof them. Now, would you guys scrub my back? Oh, and there's a bottle of sardine well, someplace. Well... What do you have to say to me, huh? I got nothing to say. Just go to hell. That's very rude of you. Comfort. Teach him some manners. Well, the small fork is for the shrimp, and keep your head below the queen. No comfort. You won't make me talk. All right. This will be a shocking experience. <laughs> Wax for dinner. Oh, <laughs> sir. Oh. 
Oh, I love it. Increase the amps. Come on. You have a beautiful voice, Alice. Have you ever thought about going on the stage? You'll both die for this. Although I was in Oliver and senior sketch night, ah! I had this little... Ah! Oh, Stop it, I'm Hey, it's Frank the bodyguard's apartment. What, what are they in Filene's basement all of a sudden? Geez, he should put a fence around that thing. He might run into problems when he has a lot of people over there. Mm -hmm. Their head crushed in there or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's still working anyway. I haven't been home in a while. Used to have handles on it. You could just open it. It was actually more convenient. Same deal here, pretty much. More for show, really. I can get you one if you want one. Oh. Boy, you're really proud of that clay squirrel, aren't you? <laughs> I'm very happy to see you again. I was being facetious. Can I give you a hand? Why, sure, you can help us. Oh, oh, oh. Just come right in, Ray. Is Set going to give you a hand? <laughs> he was the only one left who could tell you the formula for anti-synchron. Did it have mushroom Your soup in it? Failed, Cooper. Failed totally. As for me, I couldn't tell you now, even if I wanted to. This is my headshot, you know. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. Who is Super Dragon? I already photographed it in your office for this camera. Look. See? Huh? Huh? So you're killing yourself for nothing. Nya, 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 nya. What a jerk. You just want to get the guy's go right before he Boys died. Boys, are saved. And there's loads of decorations pouring in for you. We're just waiting for you to get back. Yeah, well, when are you expecting me? Senator Hollings, get right off the away, line. Of course. Well, don't hold your breath. What? I don't understand. Yeah, you heard me all right. I'm taking a little vacation. Why? Why? I had the time coming. Holland is beautiful in the fall. What about Babyface? Oh, Babyface? He's beautiful yeah, anytime. I've got to send him right back to Sing Sing, but I'm afraid I can't do that right now. He uh, seems to be very, very busy absorbing the local color. Appears he's adopted a Dutch family. Now, listen, you made a deal with Coleman to bring him back now. You can't break your word. Deal is a deal, do you hear? Huh? Now, you and Babyface get on the first plane... Flint! Well, I'm very sorry, but there's nothing I can do about that. Me? I'm going to be very busy, too. Studying the local customers. <laughs> How about a little Dutch treat, huh? <laughs> well, at least the movie had a good payoff. Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. It's very simple. simple. Secret. Secret simple. Agent. Agent thing. Super dragon. Secret super dragon lady thing. All oh. right, knock it off, you mutton heads. We got to do that super villain conference call with Dr. Forrest. Super villain deal. Oh, forget it. Oh, come in here, surliness. Sing, sing, sing. Oh, hi, Joel. Dr. Forrester will be with you in one minute. Ah, oh, Mr. Robinson, why don't you introduce your colleagues? Well, sirs, pretty much the same colleagues as I always have. Uh, Tom Servo, Crow T. Robot, Gypsy couldn't make it. Hi. Hi. Well, thank you for coming by today. Our topic is supervillains, and I think I'd like to open it up to question and answer. Well, thank you, Frank. Whatever. Can I get some cream? No. Great. Joel? Well, I think the question our field reps asked most at this week's movie meeting was why the supervillain in today's film failed to make any kind of an impression, right, gentlemen. Right, Pretty right, much, right. yep. Yeah, yeah. No make an impression, impression at all. Hmm. Ah, very good. Well, perhaps one reason why this supervillain failed, and I believe the 1971 Dr. No monograph will back me up here, is that he did not possess a strange or rare animal. I can't be too strong on this point. Either four legs or two, every supervillain must have an animal. Frank, I believe you had a question? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh. Eagerly. I've always thought it would be easy and fun to start up a supervillain franchise. Is that true? Ah, excellent question. Very good. Uh, no. No, it is not easy to set up 
a supervillain franchise. You see, today's supervillain is, in essence, the small business owner of his franchise. He does the purchasing, the hiring, the firing, plus must maintain medical and dental and benefits for an unstable and terribly dishonest group of henchmen. But if you are dedicated and are not afraid of a little hard work, then you'll find that the field of supervillainry can be very rewarding indeed. Yes, next question. Well, the only thing we wanted to ask, and I think we're all in agreement on this, is what, what do, do you, you think, think sir? Good question. Push the button, Frank. What the? Hey!